currently, as of today, August 27th, 2015, Shadowplay is still experiencing some crazy, crazy, crazy bugs. What I mean, recently, of the update of GeForce Experience 2.5.13, I had to think off the top of my head, that it just does not mesh well with Windows 10 at all. Like right now, on the GeForce forums, there are countless posts of people having a myriad of issues with Shadowplay. Anything from the Shadowplay recordings not opening in Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere to Shadowplay flat out not opening, period. Like, they can't even get GeForce Experience to start up. There's also crazy memory leaks that, for some people, they can't open it because they only have, like, I don't know, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I'm one of the people who are affected by the Shadowplay Windows 10 issues. My current issue right now is the Shadowplay indicator does not show itself up, period, in most games. On top of that, there are um, NVIDIA audio issues, like just ridiculous. You turn on the computer and already, boom, run DLL, server not working, uh, access denied, and right now there seems to be no fix for it. I mean, there's just pages of people ranting about Shadowplay. Wow, now Shadowplay has corrupted files. I mean... I really think that this has to do with upgrading to Windows 10. For some reason, Shadowplay was working for me personally fine for, you know, up until the latest iteration. It could be a mixture of the GeForce Experience upgrade with uh, the recent Windows 10 drivers that they just released. Fingers crossed and everyone's hoping that when they release the next driver installment for NVIDIA that it will be less shit. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple. I mean, that's all we can hope for. When the Metal Gear Solid Five drivers hit, it'll fingers crossed something will change. I'm checking Shadowplay right now, and GeForce Experience seems to be updating again. And the funny thing is, you have no choice but to update. I found that rolling back drivers, I could get Shadowplay to at least work when I wanted. Except there's no desktop capture, which is a bit of a shit storm and I really do use desktop catcher a lot when I'm trying to troubleshoot something and share my experience with other people but uh yeah right now I don't know let's see GeForce Experience release highlights bug fixes and general improvements 215 sorry 2.5.14 let's see if these bug fixes actually work uh, checking for updates. Yeah, my shadow play is looking all sorts of weird. <sighs> well, this is what happens when you're an early adopter of an OS. Hell, I might not even need this video. This video may be completely pointless. And I mean, I can't really complain if... Well, that's on. Audio, drivers, preferences. What is the login feature? What is that? Uh, let's see what we got here. Somebody's riding their motorcycle. Let's see if desktop capture works. No. I just checked out the new version of Shadowplay 2.5.14 and it is still non-responsive. So uh, the only option left is to maybe try and reinstall the drivers, a clean install where I completely remove the drivers in safe mode and all this other bullshit and then log back in and see if it works, but I highly doubt it. I don't know what happened, but it's really messed. And the sad thing is they don't allow you to roll back your drivers with uh, the GeForce Experience. Like, you roll back GeForce Experience, and then it lets you fiddle with it for a little bit, and then GeForce Experience goes, now it's time for you to upgrade to our newest version because it's the best. And it just really isn't. This is actually very disappointing. God. I may have to buy DX Tori. This is just unacceptable. The funny thing is I tried to stop the video, I mean not the video, the uh, audio recording, by pressing the shadow play buttons, and this is a totally different fucking audio recording device. I am an asshole. I am we taught it. Oh, what a sight. You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you. 